Hello Ratbags, it's Jade. Welcome to a reaction video to the day before 13 minutes of actual gameplay. This has been such a strange marketing drive behind this game. If you haven't seen it, it's like a cross between a division, The Last of Us, with survival mechanics. It looks too good to be true. It comes from a small developer that at best has had a half a success in two of their games in the past. The first project they made, The Wild 8, they abandoned and then left the developer or the publisher to find another developer to finish it. And then their second project really didn't go anywhere and pretty much got cancelled after only a few months of being in early access. So it's strange to see IGN falling all over with the marketing hype. I guess right now there's a lot of games being delayed, so it's good times for independent makers. Hopefully they can get some more eyes on their projects. I don't begrudge them that but so many people are worried about whether or not this game is actually real it looks too good to be true it's come from Fnatic they're obviously a developer that I've not really heard too much of they are from Russia and apparently been working on this game a number of years they do have the backing of a huge publisher a mobile games publisher who are pretty successful so there could be the possibility they've spent the last two years being bankrolled by one of the biggest publishing companies going and they've actually developed and made something vaguely decent. So this is just the intro of it and then we're going to actually watch the proper minutes of it. Again, the reason I say it's weird is they approached a bunch of independent YouTubers, me included, before they first revealed it to take a look at the trailer, the first reveal of it. And then, since then, it's all just been done through IGN. So I hate using other people's footage. IGN, I will take a look at though, because they're a big boy. And uh, obviously I'm giving you my opinion and my reaction too. So yeah, don't forget to like. My name is Jade, and let's take a look at the first gameplay. So everyone's comparing this to like uh, one of their Mud's Tire games, you know ones. It looks good, it looks good. The graphics look great. They reckon they're gonna be coming to console as well as PC. I've done a few little videos in the past, taking a look at the stuff you've come to expect, the survival mechanics in it. We obviously got temperature. There is appearing to be some sort of stamina system and water as well that you see on the bottom left. Your vehicles will need petrol. You're going to need to maintain them. A bit simulation like, like other games like DayZ. You're going to have to make sure they've got the right components or at least they've got petrol at least. And you're going to have to fill it up on the right side of the truck. So that's something we've learned before. It does look good. It does look like a, a mud spinners game or, or whatever the hell. You can see the fuel gauge in the bottom right hand side as well. The lighting's gorgeous. It looks like a triple A game. I would say very reminiscent of, yeah, maybe the division. I've seen an outside setting, but maybe State of Decay too, a little bit. This is what reminds me of a little, just running through the countryside a little bit. And, uh, yeah, so many people are very skeptical. We all saw what happened with the division. It wasn't really the first reveal trailers, didn't end up being exactly what the game was like. You know, we're not going to know until this game comes out, which is meant to be this year. But what's on show it does look good. Like, it's whether or not the world holds up to its multiplayer purpose, because that's what it's meant to be. If you haven't heard anything about this game, it's a multiplayer PvP setting. Uh, you can loot, kill baddies, as well as, obviously, players. There's zombies in the game, of course, which you've seen from some of the other trailers. If you haven't, of course, I'm letting you know now. But there is a big city setting, but there is also a countryside setting. There is a settlement that you'll pretty much be going to to do quests, trade, buy new items and stuff. And I guess this is on the road to that settlement. Uh, we're stopping by a petrol station, the Suntrack Garage. Looking nice and quiet. And they delayed this again. Uh, this was meant to come out on like the, the 31st. Then they delayed it and put it to the 6th. Then they delayed it again and put it until the 8th. So yeah, a bit of a weird one on 9th. Uh, why it's taking so long. Obviously playing another, spotting another player truck there. Uh, the vehicles look good. The animations look decent. What I really liked about why I am excited is it doesn't look like it's a bore fest like DayZ. Like it's not some really overdone simulation type thing. A few simple buttons and bam. You know, you're, you're causing a lot of noise there shooting that one zombie. Well done. And now they're all coming for you. So the zombies are a typical sort of thing. They're running around not super super fast like we've seen in like maybe world war z or anything like that but definitely a little bit quicker than resident evil style ones uh, apparently there will be different types of zombies or zombies with different sort of um i guess attributes maybe a base where they are um and it looks decent the shooting looks good the it looks arcadey a little bit to me that's what i was trying to say before it doesn't look as simulation like as daisy and i think that's a great move 
Daisy was a good concept ruined by overly long production and messing around. And by the time it launched, particularly on consoles, even though it's doing good at, on PC, on consoles it is a, a, just a shit show of a game. And I'm going to use that as my point of reference because I'm a survival channel. I was never really big into The Division. I, I wanted to cover it, but in the end I found The Division quite boring. I always liked the idea of the Dark Zone more than I did anything else. But I never really got into that game either. Um, so yeah, you obviously shoot in. We're, we're going to go and loot the back of this truck, I guess. Just a simple F, picking up everything. Obviously, the plan on a PC. And there you've got simple inventory loot boxes. You know, how much of that is the UI that's going to be there for the, the release of it? Who knows? They still don't know if they're going to go into early access or not. They're still debating that with their publisher, apparently, after the info that I saw last time. So it may be a fully fledged game, or it may actually be like a, a you know an early access title. We're just not too sure. But the lighting looks good, obviously realistic. Until you maybe find a breaker, nice and simple. Not going to have to find 20 million fuses, or not have the right wires or batteries. Just find an electric box. Give yourself a bit of uh, lighting. The armor looks simple as well, just some basic slots. I don't mind this. I don't want another scum simulator, or, as I said. And I like the idea that it's mixing survival and looting, but in a much, much simplified form, maybe capturing some of that Ubisoft stuff with the Division. Or The Last of Us, which a lot of people have been comparing it to as well, with the zombies and stuff. Um, I guess taking the place of the mushroom heads. Uh, yeah, getting some money, why not? You're gonna rob something. Um, now, some of these parts you can actually use. Uh, taking like a, a clock or a picture, you can actually use that as decoration and some of them will actually, you'll be able to interact with. So they're not just loot pieces just to accumulate a load of junk and then sell as soon as you get to a trader. You can actually use some of that stuff. Again, go and check out the last videos I've done on this if you want more details on that, as I did go through a big splurge on it. So here's the part where I was talking about maintenance. You're going to have to repair. Um, it does look a little bit more complicated than I thought originally, but not. I would say it's nice and simply laid out. Whereas in, again, in, in DayZ and games like you don't get any like telling what what's actually wrong or, or what you need. So clearly the tires have gone out there. Um, we got shot by something, and you're just simply repairing it. So yeah, that's actually adding a little bit more. Uh, I would say complications to it. I'm not sure if I think that's a good thing or not. I, I would probably say since I've said I don't like the Daisy overcomplicating stuff, I don't think it's a good thing. But I guess it does add a little bit more complexity. And I, I think the idea is that you'll be getting in these vehicles and going from the big city back to the trading post. And that will be a real point of danger. Because the big city, New York, is going to be options to loot, get better loot from players a lot. And then the settlements are basically... Uh, friendly zone so I'm guessing you won't you can't kill other players in that zone you'll be able to trade up heal up get yourself sorted terrain looks great stuff like that where you've got environmental challenges like getting across a broken bridge lots of mud that slows you down the weather looks pretty decent as well it's atmospheric like I'm feeling it it's you know it's pretty good it's not super super lifelike but it's definitely got an atmosphere that I'm enjoying obviously getting the good old god rays in there and then it looks a bit like the leaves are falling. And we're taking a look at a barn in distance. Uh, are we going to come across some other players? Are we going to come across a, a zombie horde? Just iron things up a little bit. I mean, the sound of that engine and then beams of light. Not exactly that inconspicuous. I'm guessing you can also put other players inside that. We've seen from the other trailer, there was an APC or a, tr a tank that appeared. So there will be more than just cars that you can use. Be cool if you could use that truck there on the left that we just went past. The big massive one. That would be really cool. Um, lots of things are destructible. Well, the fences are at least. And I guess we're going to get a bit of stealth gameplay. Which is an important part of the game as well. You can stealth around the zombies that you find. Although these guys are just like, going, nah, we ain't ducking for no one. We're going straight through this cornfield, held, held to the danger and the crickets. And I guess they, they really think someone's in this barn and they're going to hopefully corner him and, and, and take their loot and stuff. Um, it is a bit dark. Apologies if it is a bit dark, the gameplay. I said I am effectively ripping off YouTube, uh, IGN's YouTube. Um, I got vaccinated. It does play heavily into the events. Like That's why the world has gone to shit, because of some virus. God, imagine uh, true life or games reflecting true life or true life reflecting games. And yeah, we've also got some zombies now. Herschel's farm, uh, after the, the crew of The Walking Dead moved on to season three, uh, this is what happened. Uh, can we go for a swing? No, we're not going for a swing on the thingy. It's got atmosphere for sure. This is, 
I think decent. Obviously, it's choreographed, choreographed, choreographed. It's planned out, so you know it's well rehearsed. I'm sure it's well well done over, but I have to say it does look pretty real. It does look like this is. I wouldn't say out of the realms of possibility if we go by what I said that they've had publishing back in. They've had money thrown at them. They're two developers, two brothers, the main guys behind the project. Um, it's just about their past that they haven't really done too well in. Um, they released one indie game to a little small claim, which was nothing like this. And other than that, it didn't really sell any copies either. And then I said, like the other two projects they've done, um, the first one was The Wild Eight, a survival game uh, set like a top down. And that was a good game on PC, but the promise never got fulfilled. The publishers ended up getting another team to take a look at it and finish it off. So, yeah, they've got a lot to prove. Uh, that's a pretty interesting. Setting alarms wrong, and you are going to cause the, the house alarm to go off and make yourself a target for anyone in the area especially obviously the zombos and they can break into the house okay that's pretty cool as well so no just being safely there is no bases there's no base building the idea is that you will just take safety or, or you know get yourself sorted in buildings in and around you particularly in the city where there's going to be a lot more choice um my man's got potato sway aim there damn yeah he's uh, he's aiming <laughs> wasn't exactly uh, live there considering he's on a pc using a keyboard or mouse and yeah, it's just causing a lot of noise. Can you not turn it off? I guess it turned off itself after a few minutes. I'm wondering if... Um, I was trying to hopefully see if they were going to shoot the feet or anything to see if they would like stumble or crawl, but obviously not. Um, and obviously the zombies there, the models did look like they've been reused. Again, I won't be too harsh or anything. It's, it's going to be hard simulating hundreds of different unique zombies all the time. And especially in this early stages. Well, I'm guessing it's still pre-alpha. But we just don't know. Like, it's just a weird, weird thing. This developer trying to get this game off the ground in in what looks too good to be true is, yeah, it's definitely, it's pretty interesting. This is definitely not as scripted as the first trailer. I'm really glad they got rid of the voices. They did do the Division style, you know, hey, bud, I'm going to go and check out that building over there. Oh, uh, gotcha, 10-4. Oh, we've got the popo now. Popo responded to the fire alarm, the house alarm. Oh shit, and what is that? That looks like an armoured vehicle. Is that a thing? Can you customise vehicles and put like defences on them and stuff? Also, why is the police car uh, having its sirens going? Are they like a real world remnant still trying to protect people's homes? It seems a bit odd. And like, yeah, they're just running away now. They don't want no smoke with the Popo. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. The roleplay options here, if that's true. Um, I don't think there's as many NPC enemies. I don't think you're going to find factions out in the world. That is meant to be, you know, for players. So I do believe that police and that other car are just other players that are, like, roleplaying. I could be wrong on that, unless it's a brand new feature they've just not revealed yet. But so far, it looks like zombies and NPC quest givers and stuff like that will be the main order of the day. There are dungeons. There are labs which you'll complete together, which are, I guess, almost not like a PvP zone. I think they're going to be instances where you go with your teammates, your friends, as you try and take stuff out. And that's it. That's the end of the Day Before trailer. Let me know what you think about it. Fantastic. I keep calling it Fnatic. I don't know why, but Fantastic is the developer and my toner is the publisher. So if you do want more information about that, you want to take a look at some of the art and the last trailer they showed and just to recap everything that's gone on, go and check out that last video bunch of questions answered even more um, and you'll get definitely more details on it otherwise yeah i'm quite excited still a little bit hesitant about what kind of game it's going to be if it delivers what it shows on there and there's not some horrendous lag as soon as more than four people join the server and anything like that i will be mightily impressed and this could be one of the best and biggest survival games going far outstripping stuff like Daisy or even Rust in my opinion. If it turns out to be mediocre and it's all just a bit janky then we can hope we can have a bit of fun with it and hopefully it gets better over time. I guess we'll just see more news about it very soon I guess straight through IGN. As always the home of survival games with opinion. Make sure you subscribe to make sure you've got the bell notified. If you're already subbed I'll see you at Bags for more info very soon.